Hi everyone, today I'd like to share about Milani Conceal Plus Perfect Longwear Concealer. I was sent a free sample product on behalf of Milani and um, Viewpoints Reviews. And I'd never used any other products before. I was sent um, shade 135, which is 08, and it's a medium beige. And it has just a basic sponge applicator. And that's what the color match looks like. The color match actually matched fairly well. So I tried it over two days. And I tried day one without any primer under my eyes or anything else. I just wanted to see how the concealer works. So as you can see, it was fairly light. Um, this was just kind of to show you what it looked like after I applied it. I blended it out with my fingers. This was two hours after, and I noticed that it really started the crease really bad. And this was about six hours. So this was just going through to show you exactly what I thought. When I actually did a closer look in the mirror, I actually saw it caking. In the photos, you really can't see, but this kind of gives you a better clue. So as you can see, it really did settle into my under eye creases. And again, this was just a bare face test, no primer, no anything else. I didn't even put on any um, moisturizer that day just to see how it settled. So day two, I actually used it with primer. But again, I didn't apply anything else to my face. This was just kind of to show you what it looked like before, if I'm not mistaken, and then after I applied it. It's basically the same. Um, this was two hours after. I can say with the primer, it did hold up a little better, but I really wasn't holding out hope for it. <laughs> As you can see, this was about eight hours after, and you see that it did crease some. But again, when I did close-up views, I really saw that it caked really bad and it just creased again as you can see not as bad as without the primer but it did crease and um, I didn't think that the wear was as good as it should have been in terms of it claiming to be long wear um, this was as you can see too it kind of started to fade off in some spots so you could see my dark circles and this was to show you basically that it did come off my eyes fairly well and what my face looked like afterwards. So stay tuned, I have more I'd like to share. So hi everybody, today I'm talking about Milani's um, Conceal Plus Perfect Longwear Concealer. So as I mentioned um, earlier, I received this as a free complimentary sample on behalf of Milani and um, Viewpoints Reviews. So I'd never tried anything from Milani before, I was quite excited when I received the email letting me know that I had been selected. Um, and I took a couple days before I actually used this because I got busy, so I used it over the weekend. And when I used it on Saturday, which was a day without primer, as I mentioned, I didn't have anything else on my face. I didn't apply any like moisturizer or anything because I wanted to see what effects I was going to have with it. I was quite surprised and kind of sad because I really had high hopes for this particular concealer because I had heard good things about Milani in general. Um, granted, this won't really put me off on trying something from Milani, but I was kind of disappointed in terms of, of the wear time, as I mentioned. Um, all in all, um, the consistency itself is good, since it is a um, decent consistency. As you see, it has just the basic sponge applicator. Let me put a little bit on my hand. It was very easy to blend out, so you could use you could blend it out with your fingers or um, with any other beauty tool, as you can see. And the consistency again was nice. It wasn't too thick. It wasn't too thin. It wasn't really runny. It settled, but like I said, I was quite surprised that the day that I wore it without primer that it settled so quickly in the creases under my eyes. I literally went and had breakfast and then I went to check my face and and was like, this isn't supposed to do this. <laughs> Basically, I'm not saying that my concealer doesn't crease, but usually it creases a couple hours after I use it, not two. But again, it may have just been due to weather changes. It may have just been my skin condition. I really can't say. But in the description below, you'll see my first, you'll read the first impression um, review. And then for day two, as I mentioned, I wore it with primer and it did make a little bit of a difference, but it did settle into my creases as you saw later on in the day. And when I did a close up in the mirror and I actually looked really well in my bathroom with 
lighting similar to my ring light, I really saw the caking under my eye. And you could probably even see a little bit of it in the short video clip that I shared with you guys too. And I was just really surprised and I noticed too that it started to wear off like right here by my nose. So I don't know if it was just because my glasses were rubbing against my face or if that's just where it was starting to come off because you could really see the dark patches like here and, and other spots. So I don't, I wasn't real certain if that was just general wear because of my, again, my glasses rubbing against my face. And on Sunday, which was day two, I actually did more, um, I was actually more active. Like I did some cleaning and cooking and stuff like that. So it really did have more of an effect on um, the concealer as opposed to Saturday, which was just kind of a hanging out day for me. Um, so I can't really say that I won't try anything from Milani again, but this particular product just kind of made me sad and let me down. Um, but I can't complain it was free. <laughs> so it was a nice testing experience for sure. Um, when I did my research from Milani, the, um, this sticker says 135, but their website says that this is 108, um, sorry, 08. And this color was medium beige. And um, you can find it through Milani or at a number of retailers. And according to Milani's website, it, at this point, it's about average. In terms of concealer, it's $8.99 US. Um, but I'll add the link to Milani and Viewpoints. And I will have to add, make sure that you're careful with this because this sat on my desk for a number of days before I was able to use it. And when I came back to my desk on Saturday night, it rolled off and it broke under the gold seal. Um, so I kind of had to tape the tube back together <laughs> for so I could use it for Sunday. But besides that, just be careful because it is a heavy case acrylic, but it does have weak spots. So just make sure it doesn't fall off uh, a desk or your makeup counter or your vanity, anything like that. Um, but let me know if you guys have tried any, any Milani products and let me know what you guys think. So have a good day, everybody. Bye.